Hi guys. Check out this full on lazy mode slug Chantal position. <laughs> I'm laying on my sofa wrapped up in a hoodie. It's snowing like a bastard out there. Here's a non sexy cigarette for my smoke fans. And I'm not going into work because there's a blizzard out there. And the last time I looked outside, it wasn't like too, too bad, but it's going to get worse. So I'm in like TV and music video and Spotify and YouTube mode. I never used to be this way. <laughs> it took me years to even buy a proper TV because I just was more of a reader. But um feeling really lethargic. Leth lethargic today very achy I don't sleep well at night as you all know I have a lot of dreams <clears throat> and I'm just kind of feeling a type of way I feel shell-shocked about what happened a couple days ago what I'm calling the confrontation it's hard personal relationships are hard confrontations are hard just dealing with people in general is harder for me than I think for most people. I don't know. Maybe everyone goes through it and they just show it in a different way. So I'm in like a real grubby, ugly, schlumpy mode right now, but I don't care because I try to keep my videos 100% authentic. And this is just my way of saying hello. Happy in bulk St. Bridget's Day, March 1st. I mean, February 1st. Bridget, pronounced Brige, is the Celtic goddess of healing and poetry and fire and the earth. And um, I love researching Celtic lore and things about the goddesses and all the things that piss off the religious people in my life who think I'm a witch, even though I profess to be a Christian, but I'm not a typical Christian. I'm more of a pagan, really, or uh, giving a nod to my Native American roots by believing in the great spirit of all things benevolent and nature. So, yeah, big nature lover, right? I should be out there in snow boots by the lake enjoying this beautiful snowfall, which is still pretty. It's not ugly yet. Um, I should be out there writing poetry, but actually I was reviewing a lot of poetry last night. Because um, a year ago, yesterday, I was in the city. Wait, was it? Yeah, was it a year ago? When I was actually asked to be a feature poet at the Stark Reality Open Mic Night. And I read a bunch of my poems and actually got applauded and stuff. So that was cool. I can't believe I'm putting this out there. I feel really fat. I have to admit the past couple of days I've been really not binging because I can't binge. I had gastric bypass and my stomach is not able to hold large amounts of food. But if I graze all day long, every day or for a couple of days in a row, I just feel so bloated and so distended and so like fat. I'm even like covering my double double chin. And I'm coming on to say all this because I know it's relatable. You know what I mean? My uh, jewelry and glitter and false lashes are not realistic. It's one form of how I express myself. I won't call it a separate personality. I'll just say it's a way I express myself. Other times I kind of give in to my bipolar depression. And um, I probably need to speak with my nurse practitioner about possibly adding a low dose antidepressant to my mood stabilizer because they act on the brain differently. And, you know, I do have kind of a seasonal depression that goes on during the winter anyway, which is normal enough. And also situational depression because politically the climate in this country right now and in the world and the pandemic, and we're going on a year now with the pandemic being a thing and it's part of our lexicon now and our culture and everything's about the virus and it's spoken about casually now almost matter of factly 
it's just part of all the commercials on TV and the advertisements for masks. And I still haven't gotten my vaccine yet, which I'm a little concerned about. There's not really that many available right now, even though I'm in healthcare. So I have to call HR and QR and find out about that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I have to tend to today. I've got to call my sponsor and like I said, I'm not going to work. So I really should be using this time to catch up on shit in my house and with paperwork and phone calls and stuff. But I just feel really lazy and not like officially depressed, but just low energy and kind of, um, what they call dysthemia or some people pronounce it dysthymia, which, um, isn't true depression, but it's just a sense of tremendous blah, no energy, no motivation, kind of a fuck it attitude. I don't care that my house is kind of a mess right now. And I've got things I should be doing. If I take a nap and get up and take a hot shower and do a few things, I know I'll feel better. Um, you know, check in with my daughter and stuff like that. But right now I'm just, um, on the couch watching Alanis Morissette videos because I adore her and uh, she's still very relevant and I've been catching up on her older stuff and the newer stuff and her life journey and she uh, she's married now and has three kids but she's still putting out amazing music and uh, I've been catching up with Tori Amos and just kind of the stuff I used to listen to in the 90s and in the 2000s and now we're in 2021 and the messages with musicians are all still topical and relevant and different. You know, when you hear music in your 20s and 30s and then you re-listen to it in your 50s, you go, wow, that's pretty amazing to see artists grow and evolve and change as well. So I'm going to try to focus on more like educational stuff like that instead of just watching reaction channels. Although I once again have to give a shout out to Jasmine the sequel because she's really on the money. Do you hear all the plows outside? I'm going to end this video now and put on my snow boots, go outside, see where I'm at with the snow level. And um, I've got someone coming over to shovel me out, but I think he's going to probably wait <clears throat> until some of it stops instead of, you know, plowing over and over again when it's just going to keep accumulating. And uh, did I say fill up my bird feeders? Yeah, I want to shovel also a walkway to my mailbox and stuff like that. And um, copy and paste some more of my poems from my blog and put them on the Hudson Valley Painters and Poets site because it's really fun to hobnob with other artists and creators. And... Um, give support and feedback and receive support and feedback and yeah that's it for now i just wanted to like admit that i'm not all about like the glam and stuff like that sometimes i'm just laying here on my couch in a hoodie with no makeup on and it's all good so happy february 1st uh you know we're almost out of winter even though we're not I like to say, you know, I'm glad we're in February because then we're looking into March and then April and May are wonderful, wonderful months of renewed beauty and regrowth and warmer weather and longer days. And so we just have to slog through this winter because I know a lot of people get depressed and down and blue and just kind of meh. Depression's a hard word, but I just want to say meh. I feel meh. I feel tired. I don't sleep well at night, <clears throat> but I've got such understanding co-workers in this particular house as opposed to the other one. And they not only didn't mind, I mean, I didn't even say I wasn't going to come in. I was just told, stay put, stay safe, take care of your animals. Let's hope none of us around here lose power. Um, the houses do have generators for the most part. Yeah, they do. They legally have to. But um, it's just so great that there's coverage there. So that's it from me, and maybe I'll make some more coffee. This morning I had this glorious big uh, pancake, a protein pancake, 
made with that Kodiak pancake mix. And I made it with uh, an egg and some flax seeds and blueberries and oat milk. So that was healthy. But yesterday I ate horrible. And the day before that I ate horrible. And just for laughs sometimes I should actually track calories just to see how much I'm eating. So that when I weigh myself I don't go, oh my god, how did that happen? And play dumb, you know. I've said before, I never binge. Like I'm not a binger and I'm not a pizza girl or a fast food girl or a, you know, but I cook, I cook a lot. And I recently made chili and a roast chicken and mac and cheese and um, toffee and quiches. And I share it with people at work. I'm not just sitting there eating it all, but I like to nibble. You know what I mean? Like my deal is snacking cheese and crackers at night. And like the other day I roasted a bunch of like, potatoes and I just ate potatoes and carrots and um for a person with like a normal metabolism it would probably be fine but I don't really burn a lot of calories I'll be the first to admit I don't exercise I don't take walks around the lake even though for five and a half years now I've been saying I'm going to um I think I'm gonna sit up oh my god I can't even move wow old and fucking fat man I'm going to light another cigarette. See, I've got Jasmine the sequel on right now. And she's very well-spoken and very beautiful. And her makeup skills are fire. And it's really funny the way sometimes I'm so into makeup and skin care and hair care. And other times I'm just like, hi. But I am happy about no longer doing the fake nails. I've kind of had an off-again, on-again relationship with the nails. Very love-hate. I get them, and I love them for a couple weeks, and then I go in for a fill, and I realize this is expensive, and this is two hours of my time I'd rather be doing something else with. And then they're just, they're just fake-looking, and I'd rather not be fake. So I'm going to try to grow these out and then just get gel on them or just get regular manicures again. I do need to get a pedicure soon because I have one ingrown toenail and I think the other one is working on being the same way. Colored my hair, but my roots are already coming in. The good old gray mixed in with the pink. And so that's it for me. Happy Monday. Happy snow day. Let me know how much you guys got if you live in this tri-state area and stay safe and warm. May we all retain power. Okay, that's it for now, guys. One more drag for my fetishists. Not very sexy this time. It is what it is. My channel's not for everyone. My, my thing isn't even fitting right because it's all, like, scrunched around me. It's just one of those videos. You know I'll be, I'll be back in another form in a future video soon. Okay, so peace out, guys. Happy in bulk. Look it up. It's very interesting. I-M-B-O-L-C. Take care.